Hi, my name is Claire. I'm one of the therapists here at Solstice, and today I want to go through a form of a Romanian deadlift that I like to give to my patients sometimes. Um, so why I like this so much is because the setup of it, while a little bit complicated, makes it so that it's really hard to do it wrong. And so it's really a nice way to get in a very well done single leg glute in full posterior chain activation and strengthening exercise. Um, so you should start with your shoes off so that you don't scuff up the wall here. And what you want to do is you want to put one foot on the wall where it matches your knee here. So sometimes people do this wrong by doing this. That's not what I want. Sometimes people try to do this. And that's not also not what I want. Um, I want you to have matching knees here. And from there, you can then go into the deadlift motion, which is this hip hinge backwards, and it really gets that whole side. What people often do when they're doing this incorrectly, it's usually not on purpose, but people will rotate a little bit in different ways that make the exercise easier and then start to target muscles that are not the goal of the exercise. So by keeping this opposite foot on the wall, it makes the exercise harder because you're forced to use the, the muscles that are the muscles that are the target of this exercise. And so you can weight this. Um, I discourage people from, for the, from weighting it for the most part because I don't want people to arch here. I want, you wanna keep a nice flat back and only go down so far as you can. Um, but this can be a really nice ending to a workout or a warm up. I like this in a run warm up a lot, that kind of thing. Either way, that is how you do a single leg Romanian deadlift.